Sam! What are you doing? <laughs> what are you me. doing? Don't what are you doing? <laughs> I went for a run. Yeah? Because my energy levels were low and I thought it would make sense. Bring them up a bit. Okay, so okay. Can you... What? You don't look good, but oh! This is how I got those weird ones. It's like, what's up, guys? <laughs> well, I'm yeah. good. In this video, me and Dave are going to go through the cost of the tiny studio space that we've built here. When I say Dave, he's the. That's Dave. <laughs> Why are you wearing it like that? No, That's so lame. I don't wear it. Rent, 420 a month. We've actually spent a year building this space, so that's actually like five grand. Just gone. Uh, yes. Yeah. There was a massive beam here, and it basically stuck out into the room about a foot, so we had to get rid of that. We also had to check that the thing didn't do anything because the wall, like the whole thing could have fallen down. It was fine, luckily. So the steel was 75 pound scrap. The corner brackets, we actually got made up by a local company, that was 100 pound. The high, the mag drill, that was 100 pound a day. The disc cutters, they were 30 pound a day. Three discs, 30 quid. Screw fix bits, 123 quid. All in to remove that column was 450 pound. We really wanted to get the, like, the aluminium electric holders because they just kind of look better and all this industrial style looks really cool. All in, I think that came to around 2,000 pounds, including all the labor. There was a point where Dave wanted to do that himself, but I was just like, man, this is just, this is just not what we wanted to be doing. <laughs> Okay, so the, the ceiling lights, they cost 258 pounds. Yeah, and we put them on dimmer switches as well, which is sick. Let's check them out, let's check them out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this aircon and heater unit, this actually originally was up on the wall back here. It costs a lot of money to move. We thought it might be in the thousands to move it, but luckily the quote was like 600 quid to move it, so we got it moved. There was a time where the plan was to actually build the cove around the aircon unit, so there'd be like a big curve in the cove which would have just looked terrible. I'm really glad we moved it. Oh, shimmy that like that. And then we've got a bit of light this way. This is such a small space that you really need to hang and keep everything out of the way as possible. So we got this pantograph system, which was, I think we got from eBay and it was like 400 quid. Yeah. And we also had to buy two extra rails. They were expensive. Do you remember how much they were? Mm, like what, 150 ish each? We also had to get some... <laughs> Noise is an issue. Will you keep it down? <laughs> I've never done anything like that before. <laughs> Just run out and apologize. <laughs> okay, so the, the carriages that like hold the lights and stuff, they were like 50, 70 pound each, depending on which size you get. So we got a, few, a number of them, about four of them. So including that and all the rails, it was like about a thousand pounds for the whole panograph system. The shelf for the steel you can get, we got from uh, the metal store that's in the UK. It was like 400 quid for all the steel for that. I think it's steel, it's all aluminium. I think it's actually aluminium. Yeah, it's aluminium. It's lighter. Yeah, it was three, 337 pounds for that. And all the plywood came in at a few hundred quid. We cut all of these ourselves. This one's gonna go up there. Yeah, just put it up there. The whole thing was like fully planned out in 3D. So yeah, you, with a space this size, you've really got to think about every single inch and how it's gonna work. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the cove, let's go to the cove. A, a cove is basically made up of a bunch of uh, like timber, timber, and that came to 174 pounds for the frame. We had to make up the frame, measure it all. Yeah, it was long. The cove's going in. Hey, wait! Sorry, couldn't resist. So 174 pounds for the timber, then they put plaster on top of it. The, the plaster came to like 90 quid. All in, that stuff came to uh, 664 pounds. The paint for this floor, this is like one of those um, garage kind of like really, use them in like F1 garages and stuff, really hard wearing. It's called resin coat. It was 212 pounds for for just for this tiny little area. So yeah, it's really expensive. Oh, I forgot about the um, screed. Is it screed? The bags of concrete? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the floor. The floor. Yeah, yeah. We level. We also leveled the floor. Did you have a concrete in the floor? No, no. Okay, okay. That was stressful. Uh, that was like, I think it's like 300 quid. Okay, so we also got some sound panels installed, which was kind of a painful cost because it's one of those things where you pay 2,225 pounds and the sound is just like a bit better. To be honest, it actually, it made a huge difference. So yeah, worth doing if you want to record audio. So the, the curtains came to a thousand pounds for, um, yeah, the curtains. We put some, uh, I'll put this down. Damn it. We put some Velcro pieces in it, look. 
If you want to separate them and put those over there and keep these over here, you got a bit of flexibility there. And then the rail on top was like, uh, 500 quid. Yeah, so the rails were 500 quid that they were on. Okay, what's next? Large ladder. This one. This ladder was like 450 pounds. So and that kind of hurt. But honestly, I, if you stand on the tiny ladders and you're standing on the top shelf and you're trying to do some like stuff up here, it's it's like sketchy, but, but this is fine. If you fall off once and break your back, I can see you. I can see you laughing behind the screen. <laughs> I love ladders. I've talked about this on my Instagram quite a lot. Just plug that in there to the 20 viewers that watch this. <laughs> Probably come from Instagram anyway. <laughs> We've got these on here. Look, so two different heights, just in case. 70 pound, 80 pound. So this is why you need to get the pro solid one. You can't be doing stuff like this. I, you know what I mean? Sketchy. <laughs> I don't know how long to do it for. This has all been properly thought out. Three chairs, 20 pound each. Sitting on a chair. Um, where do I? That's actually disgusting. It came to uh, 2,300 pounds for like tools and stuff that was bought to do this. The monitors, uh, uh, 150 pound each. Honestly, these aren't very good monitors. They're like just computer monitors, but proper ones are about five grand each. So we can't really be doing that right now. So these are just purely for reference. And we've also got them on arms. So just so you can t like move them around. Uh, and they're, they were 35 pound each, the arm. You can go that way. Okay, that's fine, just put that on there. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Dave, I checked the cost of this thing, the iPad arm. How that much was, that? that was 60 pounds. That was that 60 quid? It's 60 quid for this piece of crap. I mean, look at it. Okay, so originally we bought two uh, Aperture Amaran F22Cs. They were like, they're like LED panels, they all, they're RGB. And we put these at the back here, which we've got some cool, like got some red backgrounds and different color backgrounds and stuff, which is quite cool. But if you're doing daylight, uh, these are much better. And these are, what are these called? Bo Bones Mount Lanterns. Bones Mount Lanterns. So you just get a much better uh, key on the cove. Yeah. Right? Yeah, more even. Even, less shadows, even, all good stuff. Okay, so the F22s, they came in at 725 pound each, which is kind of, yeah. yeah. Especially when we're not using them now, but that's all good. <laughs> we also got some uh, Amaran T4C tubes. Two of them, they were 272 pound each, and some T2Cs, they were 170 pound each. We've used them about twice. So that's a good return on investment. <laughs> nah, we'll hire them yeah. more. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. It's all good, it's all good. The 600D light, we use this one quite a lot. Yeah. That was 1,053 pounds, 85 pence. Who really cares about the pence bit? Yeah, this is a good light for your key light, is what it's called. I've got a degree in uh, yeah. film. film Next up, we got the Lux paper backdrop. We still haven't actually rolled this down yet, which is why it's still taped up. The roll was like 60 quid, and then this was a ripoff. Th th these foam pieces, this was 42 pounds just for some little foam, ho foam holders, and they don't even hold that well. So that's kind of fun. So we can put some more in there when we get them, if anyone wants to hire the studio. C-stands, C-stands are expensive. I think all these bits and everything, it was about 400 quid. I remember thinking it was about that. I say 450, I think it was 450. Should we get some light around here? Is it, or is it all right? Mm, yeah, we should spin that. We want to show how easy this is. Look at this. That's nice. Yeah. This was 20 quid. And I think it was actually originally like designed for like supermarkets, you know, with the, 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 the yeah, shelving. I think so. Yeah, Yeah, and then, because it was like this horrible gray color. And then, uh, yeah, Dave painted it this nice white. So it just looks a bit better. Apple boxes. They were 140 pounds per set. Yeah, you basically get like a full, a half, a quarter, and like a flat one. What is it? I think it's got a thin. A thin, a thin one. They're actually really useful. I kind of overbought them. Uh, I started buying a lot. Yeah, but to be honest, you never know when you're gonna need them. So you kind of want to have lots of them just in case. Finally, and the most recent purchase was these mats. The mats are wonderful because you can keep the cove clean-ish. But yeah, they were 170 pound each. So 340 quid. Individually, things are expensive. I mean, you wouldn't think it looking at this little mat, but. Oh, we haven't done the clock. Oh, we haven't done the, yeah. 
This clock was £12 from Amazon. A silent clock. You want to make sure you get a quiet one because you don't want it ticking and only the audio. So as you can see, it's just moving around slowly. Uh, yeah, £12. I think they're like, they're quite, I think they're like 170 each, aren't they? Ish. Fuck! Are they, you got there that much? They're quite a lot. Jesus. Yeah, these are, um, well, you just said it, were you recording? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, they were 170 each. You can just like mount anything to them. Um, it's like an arm. I think they're called arms, technically, the Manfrotto arms. Oops. So the total spent on this tiny studio, including the lighting equipment, including tools, is £15,976.85. Yeah. That's, that's all right. Yeah, that's I think that's bad. pretty good, That's actually. not too bad. Like, that's yeah, it, that's yeah. including VAT as well, so... Yeah, shit. Gonna get some back back on that. C couple of grand, two, three grand. Oh, wait, that's not including the five grand rent for this year. So it's actually more like 20K. Um, okay, yeah, okay, oh yeah, 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 shit. Oh yeah, that's like 25% more. Yeah. If you weren't doing the labour, it would probably be double that, to be honest. Yeah, shit. It's just like a lot yeah. of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the mental and physical anguish, is that the word? Yes. Gone into this space is like, we're kind of brushing over it in this video, but it's like actually like insane. Like we would spend hours, if not like three or four hours, just deciding what type of, I don't know, something to use. Yeah, yeah, you like know? the division of the floor, like where exactly to the mill it would go. Yeah. And everything to the mill, everything basically, the mill. which is, this, didn't need to be that Yeah, shuffle. this space is 180 square foot, so it's, it is tiny. So you've got to make every, every inch work for you, you know?